Hey, what's going on guys? The power to local dominance, I mean really ranking on Google Maps is about building small neighborhood pages within your area. I've created a, a custom GPT just for you for free that I'm going to link in the description below that you could use at no charge. And I'm going to show you how I've baked in all of uh, Google's algorithm changes and certain little tricks and treats that'll help you rank on the first page of Google. So watch this. All right, guys. So just in case you're new, right? I focus on this area right here. This is called Google Maps, uh, Google Business Profile, this area right here. This is the most clicked area on Google and you want to rank here. One of the problems though is that uh, probably about seven years ago, you seven to 10 years ago, you could, you could put all on your website, you could put Tampa Plumbing and you'll rank in this whole area right here. You'll rank pretty far maybe a little more than maybe 15 years ago, you know, people put Tampa and, and you know, there wasn't a lot of people on Google business profile. So Google would be able to, you, you get a very far reach. The problem is over the past, you know, 10, 15 years, people are busy running their business and they don't realize that Google has changed. And they didn't realize now that there are, instead of, you know, three people, three plumbers on Google business profile. Now there's 300, right? And Google has to give everybody a fair shot. So how do we do that? How do we, how do we not only rank in our neighborhood, but also rank outside a, a short while outside our neighborhood. And, and this video, this was all about, I created a GPT that when you when you prompt it it's going to give you specific instructions about the area and about the keyword right so if you want to rank let's let's look in let's look at i think i have a better map here here we go so we have tampa right here okay tampa heights so you have a gbp it's located right here in the center in tampa heights you first have to establish the strike zone right here you can't rank in all of tampa if you don't at least rank in your neighborhood so we want to establish the strike zone by by ranking in tampa heights uh so let me show you the gpt that i created and like I said, it's going to be in the description below. And then we're going to talk about how to use it properly. So this way you get the most out of it, because I really want you to rank. Hey, guys, if you would like to work together, please come over to MindSaw.com and click the Talk With Me button. And let's set up a quick consultation to see if we're a good fit for you. Thank you very much. OK, guys, so look, we have a lot of people out there that say uh, Google doesn't allow AI written content, it, it must be written by a human. So now there are actually AIs out there that detect you, whether it's written by AI or whether it's human content. And we all know that if a human writes content, it's gonna take forever, right? So how do we get around this? Well, one of the things that we researched is that Google doesn't care if it's AI written content. It really does it as long as it's helpful. If it's helpful content to the reader, to the person reading the article, if it's helpful, that's really all that Google cares about. Remember something that Google doesn't care about the web developer. It really doesn't even care about the website owner. It cares about the person coming looking for the search, right? So they do a search for a plumber in Tampa and they need some information. They want to make sure that the articles that are written are, uh, are helpful to the person reading the article. That is all that Google cares about. So whether it's written by a human or it's written by AI, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Now, if you notice, I typed in the list of Google algorithm updates and you'll notice that we have Panda, right? Which, which Panda, if you think about it, was just like, uh, it ate bad content. If you, if you had bad content on your, on your website, like a Panda, Panda would eat, eat that content, uh, that content up. Then we had, uh, uh, Penguin in 2012, which um, targeted spammy 
and manipulative uh, link building tactics. And you'll notice we have Hummingbird and Rank Brain and Bert. So now we have all these algorithm updates and now we're asking a writer to write an article and bypass all these spam updates. And you know, to be honest, it's very, 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 very difficult. But now AI is out there, right? So what I did was I took most of these. I know I got Panda and Penguin in there. I, I don't know if I got Rank Brain or Bert, uh, but I got Eat, which is really the main one now. That's for helpful content, right? So what do I mean by that? Um, somebody in the community has to say something about your plumbing business or about your dentist. So, right, for example, you write an article and you just say, uh, I had my tooth capped and then there'll be a quote by the customer, right, in the article. Okay, so what I did was I created a, a, um, a, a, a GPT and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very, very simple, but here is my GPT that I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And what I did was I trained it on all the algorithm, the major algorithm updates. So this way, when I, when I ask it to write content, it writes it around these the, all these Google documents. Let me show you in the next slide what I did. And this, it'll be a little, little bit clearer. All right, guys, so if you come over to ChatGPT and you see these four dots, it says GPTs right here on the left, on the left hand side, you just click that and you're going to come to this page. And this is where you create, where you click create and you could create your own GPT. So this one, the create one is you just give it a prompt. I like to configure one because you're able to dig in a little bit deeper. Right. So all I do basically is just fill out all the descriptions and 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 that type of stuff and upload files. Let me let me show you a little bit. Let me show you something easy. About that. So this was the GPT that I created, which is the neighborhood plus keyword GPT. So it's right here. I go to edit GPT. And you'll notice I gave it a name. I gave it a uh a picture that's my that's our logo right i gave it instructions but here's the here's the thing that is you notice this panda hummingbird penguin i put in the uh, i put in eat also which is somewhere there's a spam update so here's what i did i put in most of the the uh the important algorithm updates. And then I also found really interesting articles on local SEO and keyword and how to pick keywords, right? So I put them two together. I smushed them two together to create neighborhood but and, key, and a keyword GPT, right? I uploaded all of Google's documents and then like I put in, like I found on search engine land, they, search engine land, yeah, they had like a 42 page PDF on how to pick the best keywords and how to, you know what, I read all these articles, but I, 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 can't, I can't remember them as much as I used to. <laughs> I can't remember everything. I buy courses and can't remember everything uh, that, that are in these courses. So here's Google, uh, well, stop, stop right here. here's Google Eat. So, you know, that's, that's what I meant that, uh, you know, Google Eat is the, algorithm update for helpful content it, it, it wants to make sure that you're writing content for humans and that's where a lot of people are making the mistake that ai can't write the content ai can write the content it just has to be helpful so let's do this together now i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how i write content so we'll keep it really this is this is what i do let me just come over here for a second I like Claude and I also like Grok. So I'm not really a great prompter or maybe I am a good a good prompter, but I always like to think that I could do something better. So I, I'll come over to Claude and I'll say something like, I need a prompt 
for a blog page for uh, Tampa Heights Emergency 24-7 Plumber. We have 10 trucks and we can be at your location in one hour. Reasonable. Reasonable prices. I'm sorry if I'm boring you if, uh, if uh, I don't know how I spell reasonable. Okay, so I come over to Claude, right? Because Claude is gonna is gonna write me a really good prompt. So I always just put in like, you know, just what I want. And you see, this is what I mean. Oh, you see. Hey, Claude, I need a prompt, not the article. I only need a prompt. Okay. Claude misunderstood me. There we go. See? Write a 600 to 800 word blog post and everything. Okay. There you go. So I just take this. I copy it. Come over to ChatGPT. Now, I already have everything baked in to this GPT. So I'll just right click it, paste it, and then now watch the article that it writes. The article that it writes. Now it's going through all the um, all the articles that I have in there that I already have baked in. So emergency plumber in Tampa Heights, fast, reliable, always available. Okay. Look at that, that one hour time, 24 seven, reasonable, reasonable prices. See that? And you know, I'll put some pictures and stuff in there. And there it goes. It has everything. That, now the only thing I need to quote, I don't know why it didn't do this. So it still needs to be trained a little bit. I need a quote from a happy customer. Uh, Mrs. J. Smith. So it's gonna write that, it'll write that. Make sure that you always get a quote from a customer who's used it, say, eat. There we go. So I'll take this and I will put this inside also. A lot of times it includes the uh, quote from the customer, but you, you wanna make sure you get that. You wanna get that in there as well. And I'll take it, I'll just create a blog post, get some pictures. I really like Manus for creating artwork. I'm gonna do a video on Manus. If you guys haven't checked out Manus yet, I suggest you go over it's manis.ai. It's some Chinese thing, but I'm telling you something. It's, it's, it is really creating some fabulous uh, artwork for me. So, and also it, it's doing some uh, 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 homepage mockups that I'm, that I'm working on also. So if you go over to manis.ai, that's that's really good. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna, the link is gonna be in the description below. If you could please just leave a comment in the comment box. And uh, hopefully this helps you. Let me know how it helped you. If there's anything that I could do to improve it, I'll be happy to do that for you. And um, that's it, look. Like I always say, I do this because I know how difficult uh, this type of stuff is. And, and you know, we're all here just trying to make a better life for our family. We do this for our family. We're trying to put our kids in better schools. We're trying to 
you know, live in better neighborhoods, drive a better car, if those are the things that are important to you, get a better education, right? That type of stuff. For me, it's Nike sneakers. I've passed all that other stuff. I just, as long as I have some good Nike sneakers, I'm happy, right? So, you know, for, for you, whatever your priorities, whatever your priorities are, but it's really all about our family, right? So be good to your family, you know, be good to your wife, be good to your kids, get up from the computer every once in a while and, you know, throw out the garbage and help out around the house and, you know, things, good things are coming to you for uh, the rest of 2025. I guarantee you good things are gonna happen for you. Just keep plugging away and just keep doing what you're doing. All right, we'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you.